How do you bring back a franchise that hasn't received a new entry in over a decade and whose previous entries are so legendary they are still being updated to this day? That's the gargantuan task Relic Entertainment has undertaken with Age of Empires 4. Announced over four years ago, this real-time strategy game just launched and boy does it have a lot to live up to. Not to mention some stiff competition on Microsoft's service. Let's find out if Age of Empires 4 is a game pass or a game fail. The stage was set. Set during the Middle Ages, Age of Empires 4's gameplay is essentially a clone of Age of Empires 2. If you've played that classic, you can easily jump in, but the developers realize that this new entry will interest a lot of newcomers, so there are tons of tutorials built into it. When you start the game, you immediately begin an engaging introduction that teaches you the basics of gathering resources, building an army, and doing battle. With the road open, the militia could now reclaim their lands in the north. After that, there are two paths. The more explicit tutorials are a series of challenges that teach you how to efficiently grow your economy and do battle with the enemy. These challenges allow new players to get up to speed on core concepts and experts to test their skills and earn gold medals. Your town is an economic powerhouse. The other path has you going through the first of four campaigns as you follow William the Conqueror's rise and fall in England. The campaign guides you through the same core concepts, but the narrative makes it more engaging. We highly recommend this latter option. Age of Empires has a much bigger budget than most RTS games, and that comes through in its vastly improved presentation. Each mission begins with a cutscene that melds voiceover, animation, and CG with live action. It's an interesting technique that feels a bit odd in places, but it works. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. The training missions themselves feel like a greatest hits variant of the main game, whether it's a large-scale battle where you automatically get reinforcements, or a more guided form of economic progression. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Age of Empires 4's gameplay is all about small refinements instead of overhauling what works. Many of the changes are focused on reducing tedium. Pathfinding has noticeably improved, and farms no longer need reseeding, but otherwise, the tweaks are subtle. There's still no way to instruct a building to endlessly produce a particular unit. It adds a lot of micromanagement that raises the skill floor, but not in a particularly enjoyable way. The other big changes come from defenses and sieges. In Age of Empires 2, units can't move through buildings, so they're about as effective as traditional walls as crowd control. This does not work in Age of Empires 4. At least, stone walls are now much stronger since they can't be destroyed without siege weapons. You can also put units on top of them now. This emphasis on siege units adds a new dimension to the traditional archery, cavalry, infantry triangle. Bayer's walls had failed, and Henry's men could now storm the city. A real-time strategy game is always going to have a high barrier to entry in 2021, but Age of Empires 4 does its best to eliminate that. If all you care about is its historical aspects, there's a story difficulty setting that dulls the importance of mastering tactics. If you choose to play on intermediate, it can be a struggle even understanding what you need to do. There's so much multitasking required between scouting, growing your economy, erecting defenses, and building military units. Most of all, there's no easy way to tell how ahead or behind you are until an army arrives at your doorstep, and by then, it's too late. It's even more pronounced in multiplayer. Age of Empires 4 is so similar to prior games that the servers are loaded with experts. With no skill-based matchmaking included yet, jump into online skirmishes at your own peril. For a genre that's been on life support for a decade, there's a surprising number of real-time strategy games on Game Pass. The original Age of Empires trilogy has a ton of content, but Age of Empires 4 is a much more polished take on the concept. The Command and Conquer games take the genre into sci-fi and still hold up quite well, but we're hoping a new entry is on the horizon because the franchise has fallen below the curve from a technical perspective. Game Pass for console is a little more barren. The two Halo Wars games do a good job of making a complicated genre work with sticks and buttons, but otherwise there aren't a ton of options. Overall, if you enjoy this niche genre, there's enough content on Game Pass to keep you busy for months and months to come, particularly on PC. Now it's time to find out. Is Age of Empires 4 a game pass or a game fail? Age of Empires 4 is the best game in a niche genre on Game Pass. 
The developers have thrown nearly everything against the wall in hopes of broadening its appeal, which means even sample-heavy users on the service will get hooked. The core game is still difficult to wrangle in a competitive setting, but most players just want to experience some historical battles, and this is where it excels. As a new game, the amount of content will take some time to build, but there's plenty here to grease the wheels. It's also important to mention that the system requirements for Age of Empires 4 are surprisingly low, so most anyone with a decent rig can play it. It's the new gold standard for real-time strategy. It's accessible, and nearly any system can run it. Age of Empires 4 gets a game pass. For next week, we are looking at It Takes Two.